My name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded, where we haven't played the base characters in a very, very, very long time. Uh, and a lot of the mods that I currently have installed actually add things to the games for the base characters, including relics, events, cards. There we go. That's right. Cards. I forgot. It's a card-based game. And uh, for that reason, I think we should probably play them. Now, I was going to start on Ascension 20. Uh, but I think Ascension 20 might, might have to wait until I have a little bit, uh, better grasp of the kinds of cards and relics that have been included for each of these characters. Uh, so I'm going to start on 15. Nice. Uh, enemies in these three combats have one HP. Can get one elite with that pretty easily. That's about it. Random colorless uncommon card. Sure. Hey, enlightenment. All right, let's get like a like a high cost deck. Roll the enlightenment on them. That's gonna be lovely. Uh huh. That's the vulnerability. Not a particularly large fan. Right. Did feel it necessary to play that bash there, though. So we've taken four damage we could have otherwise avoided, but it gets us to kill that turn, which saves us from taking two more damage. Warcry. I mean, if it comes with 96 gold, yeah, I can probably go for that. Crash landing, I've not even seen yet. I guess it'll also help me manage my hands so that I can get the right cards at the right time. Oh. This is from Halation. Uh, Field of Flowers. <clears throat> While looking for a place to rest after your latest battle, you find yourself among a field of flowers in full bloom. There appears to be a shiny object just out of reach. Maybe if you tried really hard, you could grab it. We could get the Star Compass which holds the deepest secrets of the Spire, perhaps if we are worthy, or we can get the Eternal Fortune. Upon pickup, raise your max HP by 3-3. Three, three. Is it 3 or 33? Because you can run into it again, I have to assume it's just 3. But I have to go with the Star Compass. Holds the deepest secrets for the Spire, perhaps if you're worthy. Definitely. Right-click during combat to activate. Cool. Exerting all of your effort, you stretch out your farmer's R as... Your farmer's R as it will go. At the cusp of pulling a muscle, you feel a hard metal object. You grab it and make off with the fruits of your labor. Mm. We've got fake mustache. When spending gold at the shop, heal 5 HP. Uh, from Jedi mod as well as the heavy jacket. At the start of each combat, gain one plated arm of every two relics you have. That's a lot of pockets for a single jacket. And fake moustache has a familiar face. Uh, controlled anger. Add two angers to your hand. Whenever you play an anger, exhaust it. Okay, so the angers will still put angers into your discard pile. So it just fills your deck with a bunch of... Uh, zero energy, eight damage exhaust cards. I guess it has exhaust synergy. It's got that going for it. Don't really want it though, but still. Yeah, we'll remove a strike here. Definitely got a double defend on this opening turn. Really wanted to go for the bash there, but really couldn't afford it. Should have put the Enlightenment back atop my deck there, actually. Never mind, we got back to it. Okay. Show me two strikes. That'll do. Whirlwind! Hell yes! that up just for some AoE damage. Obviously, I'm going to go hardcore on this. We got Shiny Bauble. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with one ritual. All right. 
immediately enter a rest site and upgrade that woe wind got him really probably should have used the star compass there I can shrug it off happily oops I dropped it oh well okay apparently I dropped it oh well I don't really have too much set up here, so. Yeah. May as well open the fight as early as we possibly could. Because it feels like we're definitely dead as a result of all of the choices we've made on this run so far. So it's kind of just a run mulligan at this point. Starting off with an enlightenment and then trying to draft exclusively into it in Ascension 15? Eh, probably not the most clever idea I've ever had. That's okay. We'll go for the random common relic here. Hey! Red Skull, when your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. Well, I can guarantee I'll probably get to that point. I love that I immediately hedged that. I can guarantee that I'll probably get to that point. I could have killed the frontliner here, but obviously I wanted the defense. Lovely. Uh, strike from hell. I'll take the clothesline, but I was interested in taking a strike from hell and then trying to build into that. We'll start with the damage here. Don't really care about the clothesline. Mm-hmm. Because this cultist can kind of outspeed me. Okay, double strike next hand has lethal. Energy potion as well as spot weakness. Sure. Hell yes. Really good opening hand there. Could have just been one more defense, but that's okay. And we should be set for lethal next turn, right? Yeah. Uh, twin strike barricade havoc. Twin Strike capitalizes on the strength source that we have. And for that reason alone, I will elect to take it. Not even getting close to our half HP yet, but that's okay. That's for the elite fights. Good bronze, as well as Danger Mountain. Gain 20 block, gain 1 vulnerable. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Upgrades to be 26. Okay. Phantom Shield, gain 11 block, exhaustive 2. Clothesline again. I'll take a Phantom Shield there. One of the benefits that we have in this combat is there will always be an enemy attacking, as long as two adjacent enemies are still alive. Uh, so for that reason, I will always have a target for my uh, spot weakness. Lovely. And that should make our fight just a hell of a lot easier for us. Just a wee bit more comfy. Uh, that's no lethal right there. I mean, it is, but we still take the 10. So it's not lethal in time. Right. Duct tape. I'm going to pick up choose two cards and combine them. Stunning strength. Okay, so what would I want to combine? Because it combines their energy costs as well. 
I forget how it works with X-Cost cards every single time. I'm going to combine those and see. So I should just choose a target and then the whirlwind goes off. This is going to be interesting to see what that actually does. I don't want to attack this turn. I'll wait for next turn. The enemy's done lick two times in a row, which means they now have to attack this turn. Spot weakness, so I select you. And then I get the strength and then I do get the AoE afterwards. Nice. Although, hang on, the AoE occurred afterwards, but I did seven damage three times, which is five plus vulnerability. So that means spot weakness gave me the strength and then the whirlwind didn't capitalize on it. So they don't occur in turn. They occur both at the same time, but visually occur one after the other. At least that appears to be the case. Not a bad way to wake an enemy up there. Sure. Yeah, below half HP? No. It's okay. Duct tape turns up on literally the worst turn for it. Enemy doesn't intend to attack. Thank you. I'm going to probably have to live through the next two attacks anyway. What's that? So 14. So yeah, with, we do have to live through the next two. And then pretty easy lethal. Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card as well as a headbutt, which is on my list of cards. Okay. Take a single copy of it, sure. For 103 gold, seems worthwhile. Uh, bag preparation at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Hell yes. Completely gonna tell this looter here. And they were told. Pass stomp. <clears throat> Featuring a Terry Gilliam illustration of a foot from Monty Python. Deal 14 damage. If the enemy has vulnerable, it loses 8 strength this turn. Upgrades to 11. Heavy blade as well. Uh, not really. Uh, fire drill. 10 and 14. Adds a burn to the hand. Yeah, probably not on that either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably best served here just by waiting for my duct tape whirlwinds. Although it does look like we are going to lose a pretty ridiculous amount of HP over the course of the fight anyhow. Thankfully, we do have the Gremlin Horn, so if our duct tape card kills, we can actually draw back up and start to defend afterwards. Uh, snack back every time you play three attacks in a single turn. Heal for two HP. Oh, there's a bunch of cards I didn't really want.
We And then back atop the deck. And then murder with it. Yes. Harder. Gain two plated armor, add better to your hand. Upgrades to be two metallicized, two plated armor, add a better to your uh, make it better to your hand. Oh. Work it harder, make it better, do it faster, makes it stronger more than ever. Hour after hour, uh, work is never over. We'll take it just to see what it is. Uh, okay. So, Swansa. If you play eight attacks in one turn, play all eight again. Oro, 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 oro. I am unfamiliar with this. Uh, weightless Crab. For every three curses you draw, gain one intangible. I am not a friend of justice. I am an enemy of evil as well as an ugly smooth stone. Start each combat with one dex. I do like one dex. Hmm. Is there anything else I really want to take here? How likely are we to play eight attacks in a single turn? Like, extremely unlikely? It feels like extremely unlikely is the answer. For every three curses you draw, gain one intangible. I mean, that's really good for a curse build, but ideally we won't have one of those. Striking strike. Deal six damage, play a random strike on the same enemy. Sure. We got a mirror strike. <laughs> From the mystic. Lovely. There's a bunch of strength up for us. And... Pretty easy kill here. Beautiful. Choose your bracelet. Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. As well as a bunch of stuff I am going to not take. Go to this space. Toke to remove a card. No, I'll smith. I'll smith. Let's upgrade harder into work it harder. Hey, now we can actually play it. Work it harder gives us make it better. Uh, upgrade all cards in hand, then uh, this turn. Wait, what? Upgrade all cards in hand. This turn, upgrade all cards drawn. Add do it faster to your hand. Exhaust ethereal. And then do it faster. Next turn, gain energy. Two energy, that is. Apply slow to all enemies. Add makes us stronger to your hand. Well, we can't... So we can't use that. Oh, uh, okay. So what? We need four energy in order to play those three? Gaining metallicize and plated armor is still really good. So like putting work at harder back atop the deck is still really, really useful. Random slime effect in order to get, or random relic effect. Hey, we got Giria. Gain one strength at the start of a turn with three remaining. Nice. Do I want to upgrade all these cards? Sure. A lot of good cards in hand to upgrade now. And I'll defend so I don't lose a plated armor here. Hey, Lagavulin's up. Solid and relatively easy defense there. Gain one dex or heal eight. I don't want to heal eight. That will deactivate my red skull. Gain one dex here. Cool. Six days to discard pile. Gain the frailty here, actually. The false log of Orland is about to debuff me, which is... Extremely unpleasant. Extremely 
It is decrepit and languid. Okay, so it gives us decrepit and languid instead of actually reducing our strength and defense. Nice. Good to see it. Beasts. Because I know that I still have my duct tape in the deck, so beasts to do an AoE here is actually really, really easy. See what I mean? And suddenly we are very clearly back in the fight. Great. Exhaust all strikes, obtain five bites. Sure. Do you like me some bites? And we're back uh, above half HP, so the Red Skull is no longer active. Uh, we will become Hexed because we play primarily attacks here. Shouldn't impact us too heavily. Immediately impacts us twice. Uh, we'll go for Beasts. I can't believe that that just turned up again, by the way. Oh, I'll lock. Excellent. Definitely should have stuck around and used another attack there. Uh, so we'll just take eight damage here. More than happy to. And then the enemy pieces out. Goodbye, Fable Spinner. Hello, next floor. Hey, and we did Flawless the Boss. So we get... The rare relic, Cursed Dice, uh, can only be used once. It's from Infinite Spire. When you would die, shuffle your hand and your discard pile into your draw pile. You no longer take damage. If you win before you empty your draw pile in hand, gain 35% uh, max HP. Otherwise, you die. Uh, it is onwards unto death. Die like a nail hammered into a coffin. Bludgeon versus hit it where it hurts and fiend fire. Um, Fiendfire is like a nice finisher. Especially for a strength deck. Just take it. Hot Pepper. Upon uh, gain energy at the start of each turn, upon pickup, reduce your max HP by 35%. Further max HP increase effects are reduced by 50%. Okay. Uh... Juice Keg, start each combat confused and with one strength. At the start of your turn, play the highest cost attack in your hand. I mean... Okay, we could probably consider that as well. I'm going to go for the Hot Pepper. The reason I've elected to go for the Hot Pepper here is because I want to be able to play out all of the... All of the Work It Harders. Do it faster. Next turn, gain two energy. Apply slow to all enemies. That makes it stronger to your hand. Makes it stronger as two. No. 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 I need six energy to play them all. All right. We're going to need some energy cheat cards in this deck. We will get this. I was very much hoping they would change to something a little less aggressive, but instead they changed to be as aggressive as they possibly could have been. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a lesson well learnt on my behalf. Suffering for each attack exhausted, deal to... No... No need for that. Uh, poopsie roll. At the start of combat, deal 40%, uh, deal damage equal to 40% of your missing HP to all enemies. No, we don't have that much HP. Harvest. The next attack you play heals HP equal to 60% of the unblocked damage. Upgrades to only cost one. Wild as hell. 
You can take the preserved insect, uh, insect that is 25% less HP in elite combat fights. Uh, Cursed coin upon pickup, gain 150 gold and a random curse. I'm not going to want to do that. I'll probably pass, save my money for another store that has something a little bit more appealing in it. Oh, there's another option here. Nice. I'll go for the higher chance and we won our bet. Beautiful. So what, next we play a headbutt to put the right card back atop the deck. Or we can just kill. Seems like that'll work too. Controlled anger. Yeah, still not taking that though. Uh, so the Spyco stocks are cards that just give you gold and their value changes over time. We don't really want that in this deck at this point. We just need safety. Hmm. Next turn, gain two energy. Is there any way I survive if I play this? So 18, 20, sorry, 28, 33. We defend for just a little less, but we can use a skill potion, sure. Oh no! It added makes us stronger to our hand, which blocks us being able to add a card to our hand, which I was kind of hoping for. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, we're dead. That's a well-deserved death there. I forgot that it takes another card in the hands. Oh, wait. No, no, no. The Cursed Die has still got us alive. Uh, we can't take any more damage at this point, so... As in, we literally cannot. It's not a thing we are capable of doing. So now I just hit the Gremlin Leader as much as I possibly can. Mm-hmm. All right, I need lethal next turn. Boom, got him. Ha <laughs> ha, hell yeah. Thank you, Cursed Die. Uh, Shrink Ray, non-boss enemies have 10% less HP, sure. Nothing from that shop, though. They are slightly shrunk. It is visibly evident. Come on, and Give me my AoE. Hell yeah. Found it. Okay. So 15 plus 16, that is enough to kill the frontliner here. And then that'll be enough to kill the backliner. Beautiful. Completely pass all of those. I'm going elite hunting. Hey, we can play that for the duct tape card. We can play that for zero as its X cost and we still get the nice effect that we were looking for. All right, duct tape, show us what you got. A bunch of damage, eh? Beautiful. 
Battle Trance. We don't have much draw in this deck, so we could actually make good use of that. Foam Finger. For the first three turns of each combat, draw one additional card at the start of your turn. I'm more than happy to have it. Thank you. So this is the Ancient Clock Tower. It negates two debuffs. There, Every time you play six cards, it will lose 60 strength for that turn. Okay. Uh, and it gains two strength every three turns. So I can now just straight up deal 90 damage with this Fiendfire. Which is honestly too appealing to turn down. Like sure, I take a little bit of damage directly after, but then I get the kill. <gasps> Every time I play six cards. Okay. Sorry, every time I play six cards, I lose the 60 strength. That's what I was misunderstanding there. I didn't think I lost it. But the enemy did. Oh, well. Thank you for ding-donging. Right. So next time I play a card, I'm going to lose a bunch of strength. So if I do want to do any attacking this turn, I should do it first. There goes my strength. only play two attacks this turn maintenance oh gosh they actually might be able to like out heal all of the effects that i would want to apply to them also just pretty sure i'm dead here uh-huh Oh, so close to a kill. Come on, and lethal. That'll get it done. Hell yes. Dirty lipstick. Upon pickup, permanently increase the damage... Uh, sorry, the damage and block of all basic cards by two. Sure. And it reads, covered in mud and slop, looks like some swine got its hooves on it. I'll just take the easy 50 there. Do I even want to rest before the boss fight? I should. It's an elite fight, not a boss fight, but still. That's a pretty low value hand. I'm more than happy to burn that. Plus a ridiculous amount of damage out of it. So, you know, happy about that too, I guess. Managed to get my strength up there, and yeah. Easy kill. Thank you for the relic. Bag of marbles at the start of each combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies. I'll take a pre-upgraded shrug it off. Nice defense right there. I should capitalize on the extra damage while I have access to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I can work it hard and make it better, do it faster, uh, but I can't make it stronger, which is more than ever what I wanted to do. Hour after hour, I've wanted to do that. Boom. Fiendfire has been a really powerful card for us here. Pre-upgraded flex in a deck that does have a lot of multi-hits, sure. Okay. 
Let's pre-upgrade the duct tape. The... Just feel like that's possibly going to be important. Don't know why. So we do now have slow applied to the collector, which is handy. I shouldn't have done this now. Slightly poorly thought out. Enemy does not intend to attack yet. Fashion clothesline actually seems like a good option here, but also the extra metallicize and eh, it's all appealing. I'm imagining two stacks of weakness or uh, two stacks of slow on the same enemy doesn't help. If I play one card, do I get two effects out of it? I do not. So what, we've got eight and three on top of this, so 11. So we've already got full protection this turn. Beautiful. Mmm, another 37, that's rough. Thankfully we have a weaken as well as a large amount of block and metallicize. Enemy doesn't intend to attack, but damn it, I do. Hell yes. Stack that block, all right. And now I'm obviously looking for my AOE. We got it, there we go. Hell yes. Uh, three quests of the quest log, as well as UNLIMITED POWER! Uh, deal 3 damage exhaust, unlimited. It's from Jedi Mod. Uh, unlimited, when played, adds an upgraded copy of this card to your hand, can be upgraded any number of times, resets upgrades at the end of your turn, and cannot be upgraded outside of combat. So, there's no viewable upgrade there. Uh, Fort 44 is gained 22 block and 22 block next turn. I'm gonna take unlimited power, obviously. I wanna see what it is. Uh, cat face cupcake from Halation. Uh, gain energy at the start of your turn. After the third card played in a turn, all cards played will be removed from your deck and purged. <laughs> so it's, you can only play three cards in a turn, but... Oh, hell yes. Give me that. Give me that. All right, cat face cupcake is just a better velvet choker. It's just a better velvet choker. Purging from your deck means to remove entirely. I love card removal. It stands to reason I might also enjoy this. Okay, so. Beautiful. Now that I've played those, I can purge a defend from my deck and then... Uh, Purge two strikes from my deck and purge another defend from my deck. I just removed. <laughs> removed four cards almost instantly. Yes. Okay, so I. Play those. I now only need one more energy in order to get work it harder to work. It better make it faster and do it stronger. I'm sorry, I had to. 
So this is upgraded just a one damage extra. Cool. So now we'll exhaust do it faster from my deck, but that's fine. I don't use that card. And another defense out of there. <laughs> oh, we're finally living that thin deck lifestyle I was looking for. <laughs> we can just exhaust Sentinel and get extra energy from it. So we'll just pick it up with the intent of exhausting it later. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. Yeah, we're not going for that. Uh, it's going to be difficult to get the normalities out of the deck. So. Simply by necessity, we'll go for this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to remove both Twin Strike and Headbutt here. Use unlimited power. Oh, I just burned unlimited power out of my deck. That's why I wasn't using it. For some reason, I was like, oh, I'm, uh, I should be using this. All right. Oh, lose two HP. Oh, okay. So, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You lose a bunch of HP doing that. That's the downside. I knew there had to be one. No, 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 I need to replay the turn. I, ah, uh, I can, mm. No, 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 we will finally get to play makes us stronger. Yeah, fight the boss. Make the same mistakes on turn one that I did, so I will burn the unlimited power out of my deck as well. There's no flex in this hand. Why is there no flex in this hand? There's Sentinel. They drew in a different order. That sucks. Work it harder. Make it better. Do it faster than Sentinel. Which... What? Huh? Will be removed from your deck and purged. So Purge doesn't count as exhausting that card. All right. All right. So Sentinel doesn't count as exhausted. Damn. That's okay, though. I can deal. Burn out the entire deck to kill the enemy. Girdia, you can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times maximum. Probably like a hard no across those as well. Sure. All works out. No need to exhaust extra cards there. I mean, this is already just lethal. No need to get fancy or complicated. Right. See if there's a colorless card here we want. Finesse will help me exhaust other cards out of my deck. By being a free card that I can play. Do I want to get rid of Fiendfire? Like, extremely no. So I'll play it here. It's very much hoping we don't get... Oh, cool. We got like a really, really reasonable result there. Enemy down. Uh, not another spot weakness, though. Kind of full up on those. 
a lift. See if I can get some reasonable strength going on. Oh, God. Reallocate. Upon death, all enemies heal 10 HP and gain 1 strength. Upon death, all enemies heal 10, 10. Okay, so 10 and 1, 10 and 1, 10 and 2, 10 and 2, 10 and 3. Got it. We got him. Anything else I want to burn out of the deck? Yeah, we'll burn that defend out. Nice. Tag bag. Shops have all three kinds of sale tags. Sale tags can appear on colorless cards and on sale cards are cheaper. We also one turn killed an elite, so we got a bunch of money there. Nice. All right, we'll go hop between two shops later on because we have so much money and so little to do with it. Is there anything in the sand that I want to burn out? No. Mmm. <clears throat> Hardcore no on all of those as well. Thank you. Medical manual. Exhaust the force. Uh, exhaust the force. Stortus drawn each turn. That was my only chance to get a... Damn it. <laughs> to get a sapphire key. So it looks like we're actually not going to be going to the heart here. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Ish. I think. Maybe. Enemies down. Stunning Strike is nice. Yeah. It's a high-cost card. Helps pad out my turns. That's, uh, that's what I just did. Uh-huh. I just burned out every attack in my deck. Oh, All right. That wasn't a misclick. That was just a straight up misstrategization. So if you think that on a misstrategization, I should just straight up lose and end the run, my name is Vin Rhapsody, the name of the game is Vin Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time. I'm dumb. Uh, if you would like to see the run continue, then I will still continue it. There's no way to please everyone. This is the best way I have to do it. One away from being able to make us stronger. This feels like I'm just one away. Let's build up my strength, bide my time. Oh no, I had another card, so I could have played Flex there. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I'm trying to track my cards, but I'm not doing it particularly well. Okay, and... Surely this is lethal. And it is. I'm going to take the seeing red because I think that will enable me to play the make it better, do it faster, makes us stronger. Makes us stronger. It would be makes us stronger. Upon pickup, transform two random strikes or defend cards, then upgrade them. That's dope as hell. We have no strike or defend cards in our deck left. Nice. Uh, chameleon ring. Your potions are now more potent. 
You can now brew at rest sites. Eh, okay, as well. That's a one for all that's zero cost. Was that, is that its upgrade? I thought its upgrade was that it was one cost, but it grew faster. Wild. Next turn, upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. Upgrade is retain your hand this turn. Fade, game three, intangibility. Add a DK curse into your deck. Upgrades to be four. I mean, it should just be buying a lot of stuff here, right? But I really don't think I need any of these. Like, I think the thinness of my deck is like a large benefit in it right now. Got a later shop at least. Duplicate a card in your deck. We could duplicate the entire deck. Uh, is there a card I want to duplicate in this deck? It would be the duct tape, would it not? It would. Okay. Herbal Paste. Start each combat with three regen. Regen can go negative. Uh, there's also Letters to Her. Obtain a new letter at every future non-boss chest for every letter shuffle one letter card into your deck at the start of each combat uh those letter cards are going to be cards that i play before i play other cards because they give you a small effect and a draw uh and in doing so i would be burning other cards out of my deck because of the cat faced cupcake so we'll not do that we'll definitely take limit break obviously wax seal relics in shops cost 20 percent less right click at a shop to activate yeah i may as well just take that Hey, apparently we had a mission to get those. Should I fight? No, I'll... Oh, I'm not even going to the next floor. Okay, I'll fight. I'm taking you down, merchant. Okay. Don't want to permanently remove that one from my deck. So I can 18 block at any time from my block potion here. Got to remind myself of that. Mm-hmm. Work it hard. It had to be here, huh? Didn't get the card I wanted there either. That's unfortunate for us. So what I was looking for there would have been the seeing red so that I could work it harder, make it better, do it faster, makes it stronger. Okay. It's 45 damage coming in right there. So 21 by 7, 21 by 7 is 147, uh, which is more than the enemy has in HP. Cool. Uh, let us hurl, still not take. Uh, herbal paste. Yeah, fights are relatively short for us. I don't really want to take any of the other cards. I already saw them. Take a dex potion, poison potion, explosive potion. What's our final boss? I could take an explosive potion, I think. to a bonfire. I want to go for lifting. But I guess I could rest. Hey, nice. Upgrade to headbot. We've now got 21 plated armor, by the way, because we've got so much money and the nice rug. Oh, we've got it. We've got it. So we got to work it harder, make it better, do it faster. Seeing red. Makes us stronger. Yes. 
I should leave that limit break in the deck because that is going to get ridiculous soon. Yeah. I don't want to burn that out yet. Also, it's upgraded now. Handling. Burning a lot of low value cards out of my hand here. Cards that I don't necessarily need in my deck anymore. All right. Let's limit break and then spot weakness twice. Mm-hmm. Definitely thought that Spot Weakness twice there was going to work twice uh, and do its full damage in AoE twice. Uh, yeah, I might have forgotten how that works. Uh, no, who's to say? That's okay, though. We still got the kill. I think we perfected the first boss fight, so I think we may have actually just lost the overall perfect. No, no, no. Okay, we didn't perfect the second fight. Beautiful. Hell yeah! Ironclad Ascension 15, one run with the makes it better, do it faster, makes it stronger more than ever, hour after hour, work is never over uh, build. Hell yes. Get that darkness up in this punk. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slayers by a Modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying us. There also is a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future, as well as a link to the Steam Store Workshop collection that has all of the mods featured in this series, past, present, and future uh, that are currently available in the Steam Workshop. I'll add at the end there. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.